Hello fam, welcome back to my channel. Guess who's here today? <laughs> the Mrs. Shai Kwan. Yes. Uh, she's going to introduce herself later on. Yeah. Well, welcome back to my channel. My name mm -hmm. is Jeanette. Um, as I promised you guys, we're going to have a mummy segment. This is episode one for mummy segment. I'm so excited. Yeah. So welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank Shai you so Kwan. much. Jeanette. I'm so happy to have you I'm here today. I'm actually really happy to be here as well. Okay. Thank if you... you, you Definitely all know her from Fresh FM. You'd be surprised there's so many people that don't know me, hey? Really? You'd be so surprised. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Mm. Okay, so um, we're going to start off with the questions now. She is, I'm actually interviewing her for the mummy segment. Yeah. And she is the single mother. Yes. Okay, Shaquan, just tell us uh, a little bit about your, your boys, how many kids you have. And, yeah. Yeah. All right, so I have two kids. I have two boys. Um, they're not necessarily twins, but they're the same age. I'm joking, I do this all the time. Um, but yeah, so I have two boys. They're twins, um, Sam and Aiden. They're four years old now. Wow. Um, and yeah, my background is just, um, I mean, there's a lot that obviously comes with me, but I don't want to go into that because it'll be so long because I also yeah. talk so much. Yeah. Um, but the point is I'm a single mom, yeah. proud single mom, and I'm raising my beautiful boys by myself for the oh. grace of God and uh, my family. Oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, let's get into it. I'm going to have my note. Obviously, I'm going to read. Um, yes, yes. Okay. So, Shaquan, please yes. tell me, what is motherhood in your own words? <sighs> motherhood for me, I think the best way that I would describe it is being a superhero every day. Wow. Like waking up and every day choosing yes. to be a mom. Choosing to be a mom because it's not the easiest thing though. Yeah. Um, being a superhero to people who you have to show up for regardless of how you're feeling. Yeah. Because I mean, we all have the days where we just don't feel our best. Exactly. You can't even necessarily show up for yourself, but mm -hmm. you have to show up for this little one time all the time. And I think also even just with them falling on the floor and them running to you for yeah. aid. Yeah. Look at my wound and please nurse my wound. <laughs> exactly. and Obviously the emotional support and everything else that goes into being a parent. Mm -hmm. But I would say being a superhero every day. It's wow. fulfilling. That's beautiful. Yeah. That's, that's, a, that's a great explanation. Mm. Okay, question number two. How okay. do you balance being a single mom, like work and being a single mom? Yeah. yeah. These boys? Um, oh, I honestly haven't found... The balance at all okay. and this is actually something that i learned from someone that i had a conversation with on radio um that we don't necessarily have a balance or it's very hard for us to find a balance but yeah. you can find a rhythm yes that like the rhythm that works for you, for you will not be the same for me exactly. and so forth but i think we just find a rhythm to navigate through all of that yeah i would have to say without my house manager yeah my sister now my nanny yes Man, I don't know how they be able to manage. I can imagine. Um, because I leave, because I do the morning show. Um, we start from 6 to 10, right? Mm -hmm. So we basically wake you up every Ooh, day. Oh, that's so early. Yeah, so early. So we are a studio around about 4.30. Wow. Yes. I so that's why, like, yeah, like a lot of people have this conception that, you know, with radio, it's like so easy. You just walk in like five yeah. minutes before the show, mm -hmm. you switch on the mic. No. No. There's like so much work, especially with a breakfast show. There's so much work that goes into it. Yeah. So I wake up like quarter to four. Mm -hmm. Around about, yeah, 3.45 is when I wake up and um, 4.30 I'm at the studio for the most part. Yo, yeah. guys, so, I love my sleep. Right? No, I also used to be like, oh, I'm not a really morning person, whatever yeah. it is. But it's like when you're supposed to show up, yeah. you just show up the best way that you can. So if you don't wake up early enough, yeah. like you struggle to just get in the rhythm. Because if exactly. I'm half asleep, I can't wake you up. Okay, exactly. You're my listener. I need to be awake more than you. Exactly. Um, but I would have to say that with the help and support of my house manager mm -hmm. who I really love like I would choose her oh, wow. over and over and over again That's so she cool. keeps me sane in so many ways wow like I am because of that girl honestly and she's very young but she pulls up to the plate all the time and obviously my family goes without saying yeah but her because she's in my house yes every yeah, single day every single day she oh, helps me find a good rhythm that, that's, that's, that's really <laughs> yeah good. okay um I just want to ask you this. Yeah. Do you picture yourself co-parenting in the future? Absolutely. Ooh, yes, I do. I want to. I have this conversation all the time that, you know, when it comes to marriage, for example, I'm not yeah. very big on lavish weddings. Yeah. So I always say that when I get married, I'm getting married at the court and I'm getting married to a man that's been married before. Yeah. Conversation for another day. Yes. <laughs> um, but I'm definitely getting married to 
a man because I'm very very strong on just manifesting and yeah. praying for the very things that we want and there's a reason why I want to be married to a man that's been married, married before, before that comes okay. with his kids as well okay okay um, I get it yeah and I pray that him and um, be it his ex-wife whoever it is that he's had kids with yeah. that they have a good co-parenting relationship so that yes. she, even she welcomes me as the bonus mom for that's her kids really you get people like that actually. yes yes exactly so mm. vice versa as well I yeah. would definitely love to have more kids obviously wow. yes. yes I would um, but I want to do life with someone who is right for me and my kids as well. And who's and experienced person. also. Who's that, experienced as yeah. well. Because as much as I'm a loud mouth and I'm all this, like I'm so dominant in so many areas of my life, mm -hmm. I would love to be with a man who can lead me as well. Yeah. So I can go into my feminine energy. Because I'm tired of being strong all the time. I know. So no, even, it's even, that point where you just get tired. Yes. Yeah. So, so I would love to actually do life with someone that has had experience and he can lead us into That's that beautiful. Space. That's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. So co-parenting nice. is and more kids. Yes, Lord. <laughs> okay, mm. so what has parenting alone taught you? Parenting has taught me... Like doing it alone, yeah. Um, it has taught me that I can do it on my own. Yeah. And it has taught me that I'm actually stronger than I yes. thought I was. Yes. Like I'm someone who hasn't had an easy life at all. Yeah. Um, but I'm still grateful for those lessons because I strongly feel that I would not be the woman that I am today mm -hmm. um, had it not been for those experiences. Exactly. Some of them were very like, Lord, do you even care about, about me? me? Exactly. What's happening? Yeah. <laughs> um, but parenting alone has taught me that I can do it on my own, mm -hmm. that I'm stronger than I think I am. Mm -hmm. Because there's so many things, even on this journey of motherhood, that have happened, even just from the day that I found out that I was pregnant. Yeah. I remember it was the 28th of September, 2018. Oh, she remembers. <laughs> yes, I do. I remember yeah. even from that day, it's been very, very difficult. Yeah. Um, but I'm stronger than I think I am. No, you are. There's this cliche saying of, you never know how strong a woman yeah. is until yeah. you put her like in hard water. Exactly. I've been in hard, hard water. water. <laughs> Guys, hot water is nothing. Yes. Honestly speaking. And you survive the, your darkest days. Yeah. You survive the days that you cry yourself to sleep. Mm -hmm. You survive the days where you are sitting in studio, yeah. inspiring the next person, but, but you don't even yeah. have food in your fridge. I know. I know days like that. I know shit, man. We've been through all this. We've all been through all of that. So I would say yeah. it's primarily just... Those are the few things, but I would think that one of the lessons that I wouldn't uh, would want to share with you right now, mm -hmm. that I've also learned through this journey, is a valuable lesson for my kids to always move with love. Yeah, that's beautiful. And I say this because I I am someone who has struggled with forgiveness for a very long time. Mm. Like if you wrong me, ah, oh. <laughs> I'm gonna hold a grudge. Listen. <laughs> But the one thing that my kids have really taught me through not even speaking, just being there yeah. and that whole process of, of my rebirth as well, because that's what I feel the journey of me being a mom being was, a, mom, was exactly. a rebirth of me, Yeah. Um, yeah was listen, beautiful. move with love. Yeah. Nice. Well said. All the time. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Uh, what was your difficult moment as a mother and how did you, uh, how did you deal with it? Yeah. Oh, Lord. Okay, I would have to say my struggle with postpartum depression. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so, oh, no, it was rough. What was that? I don't know. And the <laughs> fact that I even survived it is so wild to me because there's a part of me that died during that process, but there was also a rebirth, like I said. Um, so I struggled with postpartum depression. Mm -hmm. um, it was really horrible. Yeah. I was extremely suicidal. Oh, my word. Not even just... Um, tempted to harm myself but my kids, kids as well because oh, wow. when I had my kids they were both colleague at, at the same, same time. time oh so wow. I would have these kids cry for a good four hours on end without stop it I lost I when I tell you I've broken down so many times and had to build myself up so many times I'm not lying um, but that journey was extremely difficult and you know sometimes I think about how you can easily pick up a newspaper, listen to a radio, and people report about, oh, who who dumped a baby was dumped when? Yeah. Or oh, a baby was killed when? This mom just gave birth to this child, what's yeah. going on? That's when you really understand the severity yeah. of postpartum exactly. depression. Yeah. 
Um, and it's not necessarily to say that I didn't have good support around me, mm -hmm. but I think it was just going through a pregnancy by right. myself. Exactly. And eventually with time, what happens without even being mindful of it, you become resentful towards the whole journey. And even the kids that you're carrying. Yeah. And, and, and so forth. I mean, I knew that I was going to be a single parent during that time. It was very hard for me to yeah. accept it because yeah. we have a vision that we want for ourselves. Exactly. And I don't want to be a single mom, whatever exactly. it is. Yeah. Because I've seen women before me struggle. Yeah. But yeah, that was extremely painful. And how I navigated through it mm -hmm. prayer. Wow. I couldn't pray. I was, when I tell you, I was at a point where I actually hated God. Yeah. Because of um, what you've been going through. Yeah, because yeah. I because I always had this thing in my head. Oh my God, I'm actually a good person. Actually, I yeah. actually don't deserve <laughs> this. It's yeah. been too much. Like I, I just feel like I could never catch a break. It was one thing after another, and then boom, this bomb, you know. Yeah. Which I took full accountability for. And I think because my kids are here today mm -hmm. because of my accountability for my actions and my part in the whole situation. Yeah. Very thankful for my um, other vessel, who's yeah. the father of my kids. Okay. Very thankful for him as well. All right. But it's just the journey for me was extremely, really? extremely yeah. hard. Okay. Um, definitely prayer. Even if you can't utter the words, just even telling God, you know my heart. Yeah. And you know that I can't pray to Thanks. you right now. Yes. But I need you to pull through for me. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's... Oh, and therapy. Yeah. That's yeah, really, I, really... Yeah, you the should therapy. go for therapy, yes, honestly yes, yes. speaking. Um, uh, the next question is, do you, yes. do you get emotional or financial support from your family? Um, yes, I do. Okay. I do. Um, and I think it's, um, we all need it. Yes. And I am a single mom who is, by the grace of God, able to provide for my kids. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, as parents, there's so much that we want to do for our kids. Because like, we, we always want to give them lives. Yeah. Or we want to provide for them more than our parents provided for, for us. Yes. Elevate the generations yeah, yeah, as yeah. they go along. Yeah. Um, but I'm comfortably able to um, provide for my kids and I mean I'm nothing without my family, my exactly. friends who have become my family. Yeah. My mom, she's always there regardless. Wow. Um, so especially the emotional part, oh yes, especially from my tribe, okay, my friends, mm -hmm. my sisters for life, those women have carried me through so much. That's beautiful. That's yeah. really, really nice. Um, okay, uh, the last question. Yeah. No, 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 not the last question. Okay. The second last question. Okay. Um, what are you most proud of, of yourself? Not giving up. Wow. Yeah. Because that was a conversation on the table. It's either you do this or I'm going to let you do it alone. Yeah. And... I stepped up to the plate. <clears throat> I said I took accountability and I didn't give up. And yeah. I say this because even when I was pregnant, I struggled with um, depression throughout my pregnancy. Mm -hmm. um, Never give up. Yeah, like not necessarily also just giving up on... Uh, not necessarily giving up <sighs> on me, it's okay. Yeah. Um, not necessarily just giving up on me, but for the kids as well. Yeah. There's so many times where I just felt like, man, let me just let me just go to sleep and not wake up. Yeah. But the next day you fight as much as you can. And I have fought for so many things in my life, but I have never fought for anything as hard as I fought for Sam and Aiden. Wow. For Ever. those two little boys. Oh, yes. That's, uh, that's one thing I always say. Um, you do not know what love is up until yeah up until you love a child yeah honestly speaking loving a child is not compared to loving any especially a child that you brought on this earth yeah, yeah. it's not compared absolutely to any other love mm. that's what I can tell you today I, I definitely experience that it's like a pure it's a pure love yeah because you know with with with, with especially with us women mm -hmm. I'm sure you know we can relate to this that for the most part, even if we find men who are after us or whatever it is, mm -hmm. there's always some sort of intent to it. There's an intent and, as yeah. to why I'm giving you my attention exactly. or I'm chasing you or whatever it yeah. is. But with your little baby that you made yourself, yeah. it's so pure and they don't want anything but just, just your love. Yes. Definitely. So yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm. Uh, the last question okay. is, do you have any advice for other single parents? Yes. Oh, wow. Been waiting for this moment. <laughs> um, I would have to say, believe in yourself. Mm -hmm. In the sense of believing in your strength 
and your power. A lot of the times we wait for other people to validate us. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, Janet, you're so strong. Mm -hmm. Oh, Janet, you're doing a great job. Yeah. But you need to believe in yourself yeah. that I'm doing a good job. Yes. And the misconception of misconception of if you don't have the father of the kids in the house mm -hmm. that you have failed yeah. is a damn lie. And I think for the most part there's so much shame that is attached to us single mothers. How is it possible that you have all these kids and you you don't have, have a man in the yeah. house or whatever it is? Yeah. I mean at the end of the day your parents I mean your kids um, just need you to be a healthy and happy mom. Exactly. It's better than it's better you being a single parent as opposed to being in a house with a man that yeah. you have to work over time mm -hmm. to keep in that house. Yeah. Over time in the sense that he doesn't want to be with you anymore, he doesn't want to be with the kids anymore, but because you want to keep up a facade and a picture to everyone around you mm -hmm. that oh I have a man at yeah. home. Yeah. You are doing everything that you can to keep him. It's okay for you to actually be single mm -hmm. and for you to do the best that you can for, for those kids. Exactly. I was so scared of being a single parent. Because I'm like, so how do people do it? Mm. And then I remembered all the women that are close to me, or maybe just even in general in the whole wide world, mm -hmm. that have done it yeah. by themselves. Exactly. So why not you? So why can't you do it? And um, I think what I would also say is that be reminded that, yeah, just in terms of like there's no shame in you doing it by yourself, that yeah. there's so much power in your testimony. In the sense of like there's no problem in you sharing what it is that you've gone through because you never know who you can actually save and empower. Yeah. I've noticed that even through my journey of sharing my, my struggles with postpartum, for example, mm -hmm. there's so many women that came up to me and said that, listen, I had nobody to talk to. Yeah. And had I not spoken to you who's been there before and openly talking about it, I probably would not even be here. So share your story. There's so much power in it. Yeah. And you've got this. You've got this. You've honestly. got this. Yes, yeah. you do. Well, okay. We're going to take a break. Okay. Okay, so Shai Kwan, we're going to do the um, most who's most likely okay. game. All right. Between Aiden and oh, Aiden and Sam. And Sam. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, who is most likely to get the whole family in trouble? Aiden. <laughs> Aiden. <laughs> yeah. Why? Tell us what happened. Okay, so um, they have very different personalities now i think the older that they're getting the more you can actually tell the difference in personalities yeah um aiden is very dominant he's an extrovert he's a troublemaker <laughs> but he's being a child so it's yeah. okay <laughs> sam is very introverted he yeah. likes to be in his corner do yeah. his own thing mm -hmm. but he's also the don't try me yeah you go get it <laughs> <laughs> but definitely aiden aiden blues for trouble no <laughs> Just because he can. Oh my god! It's him. It's yeah, always yeah. the dance guys. <laughs> yes. Jay Dan. A yes. Dan. So yeah. Um, who is most likely to make a mess? Sam. Sam. Yeah. Is he the baby? No, no. Sam is actually the leading twin. Oh, okay. Yes. All right. He's actually the leading twin. But you know how it is in our black cultures. Yeah. Where like the leading twin becomes the, the last, the last, the last born. born. Yes. So Aiden is apparently the first born. I will never tell them that because I don't <laughs> want them to fight about that. Like, oh, I'm older than you. Like by three minutes. But I would have to say Sam. Okay. Yeah, he has a tendency of making a mess. Yeah. Wow. yeah. Okay. Um, who is most likely mm -hmm. to eat with their hands? Oh, Lord. All of both of them. Both of them. Yeah, yeah. Actually, okay. both of them. Both they of eat them. a lot with their hands. Yeah. <laughs> Anything okay. that they pick up is gonna go in their mouth, even okay. at this age. All right. Mm. Uh, who is most likely to get up first in the morning? Sam. He's yeah, an yeah. early bird. Yeah, he's definitely an early bird. Like he wakes up like at three. What? And I'm like, I have forty-five more minutes to sleep. He is all back to sleep. <laughs> and then he just looks at you like, but I'm awake. I'm awake. And then wash it out and wash it out. Yeah. <laughs> when he's awake, he's They're awake. awake. Yes. I know. And they wake up at odd hours. It's so wild. Three o'clock. Three, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Who is most likely mm -hmm. to back chat? Um, Aiden. Mm. The troublemaker. Yeah. Yes, but um, Aiden is also very strong minded. And outspoken, very outspoken and very very strong-minded. Okay. So you either he can utter the words to you, or he's yeah. gonna show you in his actions. Action. He's at up, yeah, yeah. The, okay, he's like the father. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> it's not a mommy. It's, it's a father. Yes. All the 
trouble that happened in the house. I always just pointing to him. It's him. So, no. Okay. Yeah. Um, who is most likely to cheer another person? Both of them. Oh, that's yeah. so sweet. That's really nice. It has really to be nice. both of them because, like, Aiden might be, you know, he's the one to cheer you up with funny little games around the house. Yeah. Um, but Sam is the one to feel that you're not okay and just come and hug Thank you. you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Man. He's that's more so quiet sweet. actually. Okay. No, he's really an introvert, and I'm just like, where does he get it from? from I'm yeah. not an introvert. The okay. dad is not an introvert. Wow. Okay. But here he is. Yeah. Mm. Oh. Oh, yeah. that's so sweet. Uh, Thank you so much for joining me on this channel. We come to the end of this video. All right. Not just yet. I have okay. something for you. Just a token of appreciation for making no, me happy. Yeah. Cry. No, don't cry. I'm such a baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, so I have a little something for you here. This is not even little. Just to say happy Mother's Day. I hope. Yes. Thank you so much for coming on my channel thank okay. you so much for doing this with me i honestly honestly appreciate you so much thank you don't so cry. much you. you're doing so good with those boys thank you may god bless you yeah i'm sure he's gonna see you I through receive it. yes Yay. i receive it because mother's day is like a really lonely day for me oh shame no it really really is yeah. so obviously i would go out of my way to make it special for my mom yeah but yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. You're most welcome. Thank oh, you so God. much, Hakai. Thank you.